Local from WPTV. This is News Channel 5 at 11. Local coverage you can count on. A schoolyard game needles in a scare tonight at one local school after youngsters are allegedly attacked by an angry classmate. News Channel 5 7 Axelbank is live in Boynton Beach where rough and tumble on the playground turned serious on the school bus. Evan? Kelly, police say that she used a sewing needle and one of these, a needle that diabetics often use to test their blood. Police say that she attacked 20 of her classmates with it. Students say they were sneak attacks. I had my hands on the bus seat and then I turned around and she poked me. She went up to us, poked us, and just like, she thought it was funny or something, so. Did she laugh? Yeah, she's like, yeah, she's Parents weren't laughing. I moved in here because I thought he was going to be safer here, and I guess not. Police say she told them it started this morning during gym class when she was hit in the head by a ball by somebody who'd been bullying her. She was talking about my pants because then my pants were like, I was sweaty, and she's like, did you pee in your pants? And I ignored her. Yeah, she's kind of rude, and she doesn't know how to act. Police believe it's possible she poked 20 kids with the same needle. Parents were urged to take their kids for blood tests. This doctor at Boca West says it's critically important for authorities to figure out if any of the students have transmittable diseases. There could be blood transmitted from one person to the other every time that needle is introduced. The girl will be charged with 20 counts of battery and negligence. I'm just waiting for a diagnosis test to see if I'm okay. Police say that the girl admitted to attacking the child who supposedly bullying her, bullied, her, bullied her, but denied attacking the other 20 students. Police say that she was taken to the juvenile assessment center, but would not identify her because of her age. We're live in Boynton Beach tonight, Evan Axelbank, WPTV, News Channel 5.